MJ. The true MJ. MJ, why, what's going on? Why is it dark out? We start vlogs during the day, MJ, not at night. Well, who knows it's at night? You know, maybe it's not really late. Maybe it could be five in the morning and it's really early. Have you ever thought of that? MJ, Tarjay does not open at five o'clock in the morning, MJ. Well, maybe this is a, a distinct Tarjay. No, MJ, it's not Tarjay. At, in the morning. So what is going on here, MJ? Why is it this late? Why have we started this late, MJ? A lot of complications, a lot of confusion earlier, all this crap we were going through. We were tired, I was hungry, I had a headache, and I'm finally starting to feel all right. All right, can we go on Tarjay, and then soon we're gonna go see District 9? Yeah, and I gotta make sure we woke up at like eight in the morning this morning. And it's now, what, like eight, late eight something at night? It's been 12 hours later, and I'm finally starting to feel all right. I don't know. What, MJ? MJ, not that joke again about those red balls. The big red balls? I have a little red ball. MJ, that's not appropriate. What? What's wrong with my little red ball? Come on, MJ, let's go inside. Move it. Let's go, MJ. Don't 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 bring up corny jokes like that. MJ! MJ, what are you doing? Over here, MJ. MJ, are you getting ready to get all your school supplies to go back to school? Yeah, I gotta be prepared. I wanna, I wanna go in there and, you know, ask people. Like, Wait a minute, stand over here for a minute, MJ. Your shirt, you kinda blend in over here. Just stand over here more. Stand over there. Oh, you don't see me. So, MJ, come over here. I don't wanna. There's a lot of, like, Tarjay employees in here. Like, normally, I feel like we're, like, alone in here, don't you? Oh, this is essential. People. People. So you, what, what grade are you going into, MJ? Well, see, last year was embarrassing because I kept asking people at the beginning of the year for supplies, but now I'm going to have my own and I'm going to be a big man. Plus, you know, I'm not just a measly little freshman anymore. I'm going into the 10th grade and I'm going to be a big sophomore and I'm going to own that school. MJ, I don't know why you're doing these corny jokes, MJ. You know you've been out of school for years. You, you graduated in 1995. But I'm, I'm pulling a Billy Madison. You know, MJ, do you want a quesadilla maker, MJ? Well, it kind of it kind of looks like something they'd have at Chili's. Look at that. I think this was like something, they probably stole this from Chili's, and then they said, well, if you want to look like, you know, a Chili's employee, you don't have to worry about it. I'm and getting this feeling, MJ. Are you trying to extend this video? What, what ever in the entire world or in the entire long forgotten forsaken universe gave you that idea? I feel like you're extending this, and I'm not enjoying it. Well, will you are, st will you stop trying to extend this video for no reason at all? So clear I'm out. Extending it? Yeah, you're trying to extend this video. I'm extending. Because you have nothing better. There's nothing to show, MJ. Because we started too late. So we're extending this video, and you keep making up corny jokes. So you're saying I'm extending it? MJ, you're extending it. Look, MJ. It's Guy Freddy. It's, it's him. The Look. guy who touches all the food. It's guy him. Freddy. It's like this. You put this here, and then you do that like this, and then. MJ, we, we saw a guy that today that worked on the Ace of Cakes and he said people say Guy Freddy is a slightly a sphincter. You know, and when I even told him straight out when he said that I'm not an ounce surprised. Yeah, I know MJ. I mean, the way he touches everyone's food. MJ, why is all of this picked over? All these all these things over here are so picked over. You need you need to do a better job stocking this. I thought it would have been good to divide it into two separate sections. MJ, fi fix it, it's all picked over. Why? Fix it. I don't like picked over. Just fix it. What do you mean picked over? MJ, I'm trying to help you extend this video. We're both trying to help extend this video. What do you video. mean picked over? Explain in detail. MJ, no, that, that people know already. Hey, MJ. Huh? We can only pad that out for about three and something minutes. Would you like to go to Warge? What? Warge. It's the, you know, you know. I the, mean the blue Tarje. No, yeah. Walmart. You know, it's just a fancy way of saying Walmart. Okay. Warge. All right, where is it? On the other side? It's just right on the other side of this. I think also, let's talk about something that we don't talk about much, that what used to be here. Now, years ago, you know what used to be in the spot of where Superfresh is? Where? Right over there. You know what used to be right there? What? Best. That was there? Uh-huh. Huh. And also, there used to be an underground mall right here, because over there was Toys R Us, back Super behind there, and it was an underground mall. Not Best Buy, it was just called Best, and it had this crooked roof to it. 
Does anyone remember that? It if anyone like, remembers Best, if any of you have like pictures of you at Best or anything, show us. please show us. I've been dying to see something from Is Best. Is putting Walmart on the other side of Target kind of like putting a McDonald's right on the other side of um, a Burger King? Yes, MJ, but that's the new way nowadays. Talk about competitive. Yeah, I know. Here we go, MJ, the fabulous Warjay. Say it, there's something real different in here. It's real similar, but yet different. To Target? I know. Target's got that red scheme and Walmart's got the blue scheme. That's probably what it is. Yeah, MJ, like your jeans. So, MJ, we got a scene in District 9. And weren't you really surprised with how cool this movie was? Yeah. And, like, and how good it was? I know, like, I will admit in the beginning I'm thinking, I don't get what they're trying, where they're trying to go with this, so I don't fully get what's, how this is supposed to go, and then as it goes on, and you get more what's going It gets really cool. It's like, oh, okay, I think I, I get this makes more sense now. When, and the when thing is, it, it was good too, was the effects in it were really good. They didn't have, like, these scream CG effects. I mean, I, you know if they were, for the most part, but the thing is, they weren't those ones that's like... Ugh. It's like effects. And the, the monsters, I mean, like, the alien things really look cool. I know they weren't the like the dumb ship looking. Looked real. The ship you're just seeing it floating there like that. It's like that's a ship. You know, you, when you look at it, you don't think it's an effect. You look at it, you're like that's a ship. But like the tr and the thing too, like that. If you notice the trailers for the film, don't really tell you much at all about it. You know what I mean? It's like one of those movies when you see it, you see it. like the tr the trailers don't really give anything away. Yeah, I had a feeling that the trailers would be like misleading. Basically, though, it's about like this these aliens. This ship comes and then like they take the aliens from the ship. And like put them in this like camp area, and they want to get them out of that area and move them. Yeah, they try to. I think they're sort of like are holding the aliens captive, and they're not really giving many choices, and they're experimenting on them. They're being mean to them. But then at one point they find this canister and sprays in this guy's face, and he starts becoming an alien. Yeah. Changing. And that's pretty much all you can say without giving anything away. Right. But it's very cool. Yeah, it's pretty. Um. It is. It really is like if for each question at first, it's like this wasn't trying to be a horror movie because it was art. It's like it wasn't really horror. It was. It was. It was more like. Like sci-fi. It had like. The, didn't it kind of remind you of like Twenty Eight Days Later and a lot of those kind of things combined? Yeah, I liked this more than Twenty Eight Days Later. And like, and like um, Doomsday, but not at all like Doomsday. But it was in like a setting. Remember, like, you know, Doomsday was like in that like sort of closed-in area. Wasn't this kind of like a Doomsday area? Kind of, yeah. It was like that. And the other thing with this, too, is it's rated R, so it's not like, it's like not a poo thing, you know what I mean? It's not like, oh, we're, we're, gonna, we're afraid to show this and stuff. They go for everything. Right. This is definitely like a theater movie to see and, and to buy it, too. I, I really liked it. Yeah. Don't you, don't Honestly, you I'd else say, say? Um, four out of five. Only, why only four? There wasn't anything about it that screamed like... Like, at some point, you would have expected something like this would have been done. Yeah. But do you know what I'm talking about? Like, I mean, it wasn't the kind of thing where it's like, wow, I never would have expected anyone would have thought to do something like this. You know what I mean? So, do you get what I mean? I mean, it's like there's alien films out there. And, okay, like, I guess there aren't that many that go in this direction. But, like, you know, this could have been done. You know what I mean? And do you get know what I'm talking about? Like, I think I know what you mean. It's like it wasn't fully 100% original. Like, it wasn't so original to the point where it's like, you know, it's... it's no, there's a lot of things in one. You know what I mean? There's, like, a lot of movies in one. Plus, like I said, that like, with some of it, it's like... You try your wonder. I was like, wait, where are they going with this? It's like, oh, okay. It's I think like, it was the movie didn't start out that cool in the beginning. And you're sort of like, who am I supposed to cheer for here? You but know what it, I mean? but it, the thing is, after the first 20 minutes, it was really cool. It made sense. I'm like, okay, I'm cheering for the aliens. Okay. Because first you're like, are the aliens bad? Am I cheering for the humans? Like, no, you're cheering for the aliens. I know. I would, I'd recommend seeing this, though. You do see it in theaters. I'm sure. I have a feeling, though, a lot of people, some people might not like certain things about them. I'd be like, well. But you could tell that it was a Peter Jackson produced it. Because, like, everyone was throwing up. Like, in the old Peter Jackson things he used to do, people were always, like, in the bat, Dead Alive, they were all throwing up all the stuff. And it had, like, some gross-out stuff in it. Didn't he do um, that King Kong? Yeah, but I'm talking about before he started doing the okay, mainstream King stuff. Okay, was pretty good. Okay, you're talking about the... Right. He didn't direct this, he produced it, but I, you could right. tell he had a lot of his little things in it, though. I would definitely recommend this. I do recommend it, though. Yeah, it was really good. I think most... For the most part, I think people are going to really like this. Yeah. And, like, how long have we been... I feel, don't you, like, so exhausted right now? Yeah, I'm ready to go to bed. I know, it's only 12.06 right now, too. Well, it's not as late as I thought. <laughs> no, it's not even that late. Well... So, should we get the um, fudge out of here now? Yeah, in case you're wondering, like, right over there, that's where everyone's exiting. We're just sitting in the car, and that's why everyone keeps going by. 
for those wondering what's going on here. Yeah, you thought they were driving by going, it's those two guys, wow, let's all go look at them. No, they're just exiting, paying their, you know, one dollar exit fee. So MJ, so it's the end of the night and yeah. I'm sorry this was a short vlog. Yeah, sorry, but, it, please don't hassle us and don't go, why was it short? It's like there was just really, we didn't start doing anything till like 8, so it's like there really wasn't... Yeah, we, and we don't want to get any posts, so you guys are running out of ideas, so you're lazy, it was like, why was it short, what was the problem, we don't want well, to Well, hell, that, we'll right? just admit it, we're working on this film today that went for hours, yeah. so that's why we, we didn't get anything and else we're done. Ex we're exhausted and we're in pain. And we got up at, si what time, 7 in the morning s to do this, and like, we never get up early, we're not... we like, since then, and it's now about... About one in the morning where we are, and the thing is, we're not morning people. There, some people, you know, it's like some of that are watching right now, are like, you know, most of the natural world. Or, no, how do they put it? Most of the norm, the normal working world, gets up at a decent hour, like six in the morning, seven in the morning. It's like, and, and he gets his full day of work done. Blah blah. I'm like, yeah, that's because you're one of those nuts morning people. Well, there's such a thing as not a morning person, and that's not what we are. I'm not a morning person at all. I hate that, and like, you know, don't you hate when there are people who, in the morning who are real up and like awake, they're like, oh, hi, hello, hello, you know what I mean? I know. Especially when they have me working in the, in the movies in the morning. There's always these real awake people, and I'm like, hold on, you know what I mean? I'm like Eeyore or something, here we go, here's your ticket. They, were, they always look at me like, is everything okay? I'm like, it's the morning, and like sometimes I even go, listen, I'm not together in the morning, this is the best I can be. Yeah. The only thing is, when I, when I go to California, the time zone's different, so I'm a little bit better shape. So if it's 6 there, like if they say, get up at 8 o'clock, like, so it's like about 11 our time. So I'm a little bit better off. Mm. You know what I mean? I'll have to do the math. So MJ, just get out of here now. I'll just walk off into the night, and then we'll see you all next week. Yeah. Oh, yeah. At... The horror convention. Oh yeah! If, if you didn't see the other video we posted, we're gonna be at the Monster Mania horror convention. Me and MJ, you're gonna be there, right, MJ? Right? Yeah, I said yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. Good. Yeah, and actually, it's in New Jersey, right? Yes. I better start walking now. I get, I'll see you all there. All right, I MJ. promise. I'll see you all there. Okay. Bye, MJ. Bye. I'll see you all there. Okay, all right. Bye, bye, MJ.